What's up guys, it is Bernardo from the BTN HD and today I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your MDT 8443 to the latest build which is 8450 so let's get started. Uh, before we start the installation and the upgrade process, let's go over some of the new features that Microsoft have pushed out to 8450. Uh, this is some of the important features and it supports Windows ADK uh, 1709 which is great. It also supports deployment for Windows 10, 1709, Config Manager Current Branch, which is 1710, and a bunch of improvements to deploy and upgrade to Windows 10. Great thing. Now, I will share this Google Doc to you guys because if, I, if you click on the link right here, it will take you to uh, where you need to download the latest 8450, as well as if you click here, it will take you to the blog uh, TechNet site and it'll give you more information of the latest features and the changes between 84, 843 and 8450. And last but not least, if you need to grab, you definitely need to grab the latest and greatest ADK 1709. So I will provide this uh, Google Doc for you guys so you can have the link. Now, depending on what version you have on your server, Again, you got to make sure you upgrade to 1709. All right, so let's get into the server and take a closer look. All right, so I'm on my MDT server right now. I'm going to go to help and I'm going to go to about Microsoft deployment. And as you can see, I'm running 8443.1000. And if I right click on my start menu, I go to control panel. Uh, MDT right now is running on Windows Server 2016. So if I go to programs and features, and I look into the Windows ADK stuff, I am running 14.393, okay? Now 14.393 is basically this guy right here. So I'm running Windows ADK version 16.07. We need to get into 17.09. Okay, now for everything to work, again, I will provide the Google Docs for you guys so you can download everything that you need. Uh, I have everything on the desktop. I have my MDT and I also have the ADK 1709. Now for this to work correctly, you need to do the following. You need to get inside programs and features and remove the ADK uh, installation that you have. So for me, I am running a pretty old ADK, so I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna click on uninstall. And I'm definitely gonna say yes. All right, so it looks like the uninstall is completed. That's a good thing. You don't need to restart your machine if you want. You could. I don't really think you need to. Uh, the next step that you need to do is, again, make sure you download the latest ADK. I already have it on my desktop and double click on it. The process of removing ADK from the server is pretty quick. Installing takes forever. Uh, it's going to put at least seven gigs. So we're going to click next on that. I'm going to hit no. Click next. And if you want, if you have time, read all this. Let's click accept. And by default, you're gonna get all these deployment tools, the Windows PE, uh, the ICD, configuration designer, you're gonna get the USMT. I'm gonna leave everything as a default. And I'm going to click install. And we're gonna let this ride. And once that's completed, we're close to upgrading our current MDT 8443. And the next thing that we need to do is physically upgrade our 8443. Again, we have to upgrade uh, our ADK first. And to do that, we have to remove it, uninstall. We have to uninstall it from our server and then reinstall the new one. And then once you do that, then we could upgrade our MDT. All right, so it looks like the Windows ADK has finished. That's a good thing. So we are going to click close. We're gonna close out of that. And let's refresh this and see right here. Awesome, so we're running 16299.19. Awesome. Now the next thing that you need to do is uh, install MDT Deployment Toolkit, right? That's what you need. Download it, 8450, double click on it. I'm going to be installing the 64-bit one, okay? So we're gonna click Next, and we're going to accept the terms, click on Next. Now, depending on where you have your MDT stuff installed, for me, I left it as the default as the C drive, so let's click Next on that. And uh, I'm going to say, don't want to join the program for now, click Next and install. Okay, so it looks like 8450 was completed. That's always a good thing. Let's click on finish and let's close out of that. All right, so from here, we're gonna to go to start. From start, we're gonna go into the M section. We're gonna open up our Microsoft Deployment Toolkit and click on Deployment Workbench. 
And here it goes. I'm going to click on Help and About Microsoft Deployment Workbench and 8450. It looks like it's upgraded. Awesome. But you're not really done yet. So what you need to do is expand your deployment share. This is very, very important. Uh, let's expand that. If you're expanding, you're not going to get anything. But pay close attention. Right here, you get a nice little exclamation point. You're going to right click on it. And what you want to do is upgrade your deployment share. So let's click on that. You're going to get a nice little wizard. Click next. All right, so upgrading the deployment share is completed. Great thing. Let's click on finish. And the exclamation point is gone. So let's expand that. And now I have my nodes. I have my Windows Server 2016. And I have a task sequence right here. Awesome. All right, so let's test everything out. And within my operating system node, I'm going to right click, click on new folder. And let's do a Windows 10, right? Click next, next, and finish. Now I'm going to create another folder. Right click, new folder. And I'm going to create a V1709 because I'm going to import the ISO of 1709 inside this folder. Now because this is a virtual machine, I'm going to go inside VM, settings, and I'm going to click on the CD DVD. I'm going to click on Browse. I'm going to go inside my ISO folder. And I have a folder called Windows 10 V1709. We're going to click on this guy right here. Open and OK. Now you can see right here, it looks like it recognized it. Awesome. But we're not going to do that right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is the folder that we created together. I'm going to right click on it and import the operating system. I'm going to do a full set of source files. Click on Next. I'm going to pick the directory, and the directory is basically the DVD drive. So this PC, and let's pick the D drive. Click Next. I'm going to keep it as is. Click Next. Click Next again, and it's going to start importing the operating system inside our 1709 folder. All right, it looks like importing our operating system has completed. Good thing. Let's click on Finish. And here goes all of our Windows 10 1709 WIM images. Now I'm going to go inside the task sequence. I'm going to right click on it and create a new task sequence. And this is going to be let's win 10. Let's do V1709. And let's give this task sequence a name. So it's going to be Windows 10 64 V1709. And let's do Enterprise. I think this is the Enterprise TS. Click Next. We're going to do a standard client task sequence. Click Next. And let's pick our operating system. So I'm going to click on the Windows 10 folder inside 1709. And we're going to pick our operating system. So I'm going to pick the Windows 10 Enterprise, this one right here. And we're going to click on Next. I'm not going to specify a product key right now. So we're going to click on Next and do the operating system uh, settings. So I'm going to give it my name, organization, BTNHD. And the website is this guy right here. Awesome. And we're going to click on Next. Provide an admin password. Make sure you remember it. And then confirm it. Click Next. Nice little summary. And click Next. And done. We're going to click on Finish. Now, once you do all that, we want to update our deployment. So right click on the main root of your NDT deployment share. So right click on that, update the deployment share, click on Next, and click on Next, and let it update itself. All right, so updating our deployment share has been completed. So we're going to click on Finish. And because I like using Pixie Boot, I'm going to start up my WDS and I'm going to upgrade my deployment uh, boot image. So once my deployment services are up and running, I'm going to click on. All right. So from here, because my WDS has stopped, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to all tasks and I'm going to start it. Looks like it was successful. Awesome. Got that green. Green is always good. And then within boot images, I'm going to right click on my 64 bit light touch Windows PE and I'm going to replace it. I'm going to click on browse. Now the default location for your Windows PE stuff is located within deployment share boot. You're going to have a 64 bit and an 86 bit. I'm going to do 64 bit because I'm going to 
I'm going to be pushing out a 64-bit operating system. So let's click open, click next, next again, next again, next, and good to go. All right, it looks like our 64-bit Windows PE has been replaced. So we're going to click on finish. And this is something I like to do all the time is right click on the primary node of my Windows uh, deployment servers and go to all tasks and just restart it. And there it goes, successfully restarted. I just wanna make sure everything is good to go because sometimes when you restart it, you get problems. But once I get that green check mark, looks like my deployment is good to go. So because I'm running everything within a uh, VMware workstation, I'm gonna minimize this. I'm gonna go inside the host. And within my host, I am going to, let's create a folder in here. Got a lot of folders. And we are going to do BJ uh, Win version 17. Actually, let's just use Win 1709. We're going to copy this path. Okay, there's nothing in here. And we're going to click on File, New Virtual Machine, Next, Next. We are going to be pushing out a Windows 1064. Click Next. We're going to drop it in that path that we created. And the name of it was B Windows 1709. Awesome. Click next. We're going to give it 60 gigs. It's okay. Next. And let's customize the hardware a little bit. Uh, let's give it two processors. Click finish. Awesome. So I, if I go back inside that folder, we got some stuff in it. Great. And I'm going to power this guy up and I'm going to click inside of it and also Click F12 like a madman so I could pixie boot. Awesome. And there goes our light touch Windows PE64. So I'm going to hit enter. All right, so I'm getting the welcome. And the reason why I'm getting this is because I didn't really make any modifications within the properties and within the rules. Everything is like out of the box. So we're going to get all this stuff. So I'm going to click on run the deployment wizard to install a new operating system. We need to definitely add a username and password that have full access to our MDT deployment server. Click OK. If everything goes well, you're going to get this. It's going to process. And yes, there goes our task sequence that we created together. Let's click on it and click on next let's give it a computer name again you could automate all this stuff within the custom settings i9 file but i didn't do that so let's click on next i'm not going to move any user data i'm not going to do a restore user again you could you could actually disable all this stuff to skip the local time is going to be set to eastern time Awesome. Click next and click begin. And right now it's deploying, it's gathering information. It should start reformatting the virtual machine. It's partitioning it right now. Awesome. And you should get the, it should give you the status that it's installing the operating system. And that's it, guys. That is how we upgrade our current MDT 8443 to the latest build, which is 8450. Yeah, 8450. Uh, pretty easy steps. First thing that you need to do is remove your ADK, upgrade it to the latest ADK 1709, then install the MDT build 8450, update your deployment share, test everything out. Make sure everything is working. But before you do all this stuff, back up your machine, right? Back up. If you're doing it within a virtual environment, take a snapshot before you do all these updates. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave comments right below, and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.